everybody welcome back to the channel today i am bringing you a different type of video for this week i will be bringing you a couple different types of videos like this uh, but this first one will be um, the nancy notions holiday book i thought it would be fun because i get the catalogs in the mail and i thought it'd be fun to kind of go through what's inside of here to give you some ideas on gift giving um, or maybe just to put some ideas in your head about maybe some potential um, projects or gifts that you can get. So we're starting here with the um, create a forest of the curly Q trees. This is so super cute that you can do it has the templates and you can do this with kids um, or if you have a classroom or something like that, you can most certainly do it. I thought this was super cute. It has buttons on it and you can um, add buttons here again a nice gift for kids or um, maybe something that you would consider getting for yourself to do um, with some family and um, if you didn't know for those who don't know nancy notions do carry different types of fabrics and now we're going to turn to one of the one of my favorite pages and this is kind of what made me want to do the video this is stocking stuffers for under 20 dollars so many great ideas and again i'm not affiliated with nancy notions at all but i just wanted to share a lot of these different things like this bobbin winder i've never owned a bobbin winder but here's one then you have the little pressing cloth it says for dolls but i can see you using that to um press binding or something like that maybe a little project you're working on and then um you also have the actually two different types of bobbin winders and then you also have what I like, which is this uh, ruler grip. So how many times have you been cutting something or you're using your rotary cutter in the, in, and it's moving all around, but at least you have something to kind of grip it, hold it down, hold it in place, put that on your wish list and send it to somebody and say, I need this. This is the type of thing I would like. And then if I um, go up here, what's also nice, um, you'll see is this um, LED light. So maybe you might need something like that at your machine. Maybe it's a little dark. The light that's on sewing machines are kind of dull if it doesn't come with the LED light already and it may not be bright enough. That might be something that you want to add. Again, a very nice stocking stuffer. Um, and then over to the side here on this page, quite a bit of different items. You have here um, a Kai seam remover set, which is nice um, in, in binder clips. And then you also have what I thought this was really interesting. This is actually a needle catcher, or I would say pin, it's called a pin picker upper. So if you drop your needles on the floor in the carpet or something like that, you can run this wand across the floor and it'll pick everything up, um, the different pins and everything that's on the floor. I would imagine that would work better on a hardwood floor or, you know, a flat surface as opposed to carpet, but I'm sure it could work for carpet as well. And then, um, of course, you have other little um, tweezers over here. That's a tweezer tool pack. You have your rotary cutter blades, all very nice items as stocking stuffers. I thought this was such a good idea. And again, part of the reason why I decided to do this video, I was like, hey, why not share what some of the things I thought were really nice and what others might consider nice stocking stuffers. And then here you have your different... Um, so um iron pressing irons and also i love this little vacuum up here that will be awesome because i do have on my wish list a serger vacuum and something like that that's small that you can get into the cracks and crevices that's this little small nozzle can really get into those cracks and crevices again something very nice to put on the wish list and of course you have some ironing boards here at the bottom as well now this page is going over different sewing machines. I won't go into that, but you can most definitely uh, visit um, visit the site. So this, I'm not sure if any of you knew, but Nancy's Notions has a page 
um, on the website called Fashion Pattern. So if you go to Notions, nancysnotions.com, you'll see this is the duffel coat pattern. And it also, she also sells the fabric. So here's the matching fabric for this particular pattern um, that you'll find on the website. And then she has these patterns. One is a top dress cardigan, and then she has the boyfriend jeans. And then all of the fabrics for all of these gar sample garments shown on the page is um, also sold on the website, which you will find at the bottom here. And then you can also go on the website and, and look at the different uh, fabrics there as well. But I thought this was brilliant. I actually didn't notice this before that Nancy's Notions sold patterns. Um, and so, um, yeah, that is that is awesome, very nice. And here are just a few more patterns um, also available on the website and the matching fabric, which I like, because sometimes you can find really unique fabric on at different places, and so I like what she had to offer here, and that dress is so pretty um, as I was looking at it. So here you have a lot of your pressing tools, um, best press, you have your clapper. Now, you know, I bought mine, well, I didn't buy it. I actually got it for free from um, a hardware store. And um, you can do that as well. Or if you want something a little bit more sophisticated, you can go ahead and get your an official tailor's clapper. And then you also see that they have this table where it's like a pressing folding table. Again, that's something either you can get from probably a secondhand store. And I do apologize for the camera. Um, I have the husband recording and so yeah, <laughs> I was telling him to zoom in. <laughs> but that is something that you can get from somewhere else. I have purchased Best Press before. I've actually gotten it. Um, I used a coupon from Joanne Fabrics and have gotten that before. But yeah, those are your some of your pressing tools. And of course, this is always on my wish list is, is in, I think it's pronounced Aliso, um, the smart iron that pops up when it's just sitting down. And so it won't scorch or burn your surface. It'll just pop up. Um, that is really nice. And of course, the other little handheld one. And if you're feeling really special, go ahead and get you a, a, a Best Press Clear Spray Mist Bottle. Um, those are just a few extra luxury items. So now we're getting into the quilting. I think items that are um, geared towards quilters, if you watch Nancy Notions or uh, watch her on YouTube or her different videos, you know that there was a lot of quilting videos. She did a lot of garment, but a lot of quilting videos. And so you have different fabrics here. This is the Cozy Night, um, a red on white Cozy Night, um, a nice collection of fabrics here on this page and then you have all of these different project ideas this is something again if you're a quilter you can kind of lean on somebody and say hey i think i would like something like this if you are wondering what to get me look at all these projects things you can do with kids i just think it's a nice variety variety of different projects and then you have the different um piecing um, I believe that's what this is called. There are some panels on here. There's some um, kits on here um, that you can get. And then you see the jelly roll um, up here in the upper right hand corner. I think this is just so pretty and just so um, timely for the holiday. Just beautiful, beautiful pieces. And really, if you're um, looking to get young kids and young adults into something a little bit more crafty, these are perfect projects for that. And then of course, you have even more projects here. Um, you have the, it's called the whole, whole, whole fabric. <laughs> so it's a nice pack. You have different kits here that's available. Um, if you're into quilting or, you know, again, want to get someone into uh, doing some quilting, I absolutely love this fabric. It's called Cup of Cocoa Fabric. Isn't this just gorgeous? So fun. Just a nice collection of fabrics and then you have all of the different projects on the other page different panels that uh, she's showing the the different the tote sets up there at the top and the frames just i just i think that fabric is so cute so so cute and again it's holiday um and you can really get that and make a lot of different projects and so here is where again is more quilting related but i do want to um i don't know anything about long arms that's what i'm pointing here but what i wanted to focus on on this page is this so steady now this um i'm having my husband zoom in here this is for quilters of course 
But for those who do large garments, coats, um, different types of large couture dresses, prom dresses, this is something that you can add to your sewing machine and you can really have more space for your garment to lay out. Put that on your wish list if that is something that you want and, um, and, and put that out there for someone potentially to give you if you need something that large. They do sell other ones and you see it has a little compartment, storage compartment underneath there um, that you also have that um, that's really nice. But yeah, very, very, very nice. And so here we're just um, some more um, beautiful fabrics, some more um, panels here on these different pages uh, that you can get um, as well. Put on your wish list or just mark it down. Of course, always look forward to uh, Black Friday. I'm just going to say that the Nancy Notions runs. Everybody runs online sales during Cyber Monday, Black Friday, Small Business Saturday. You'll see different types of sales. So here is the Meat Magnolia fabric. I think this is so pretty as well. Um, I couldn't, I can see these as lining fabrics inside bags, quite honestly, because um, I just like the print. I think it would be fun. But um, yeah, those are really, really nice. And then you hear our, um, it's, it's called pick a panel. And so you can do different looks with that as well. And then you have, um, these are different jelly rolls and um, other different um, jelly roll slasher. I'm not really familiar with that and how you would use it, but for those who do, here's where you would find that. And then for those who do hand embroidery, of course, this is really nice for those who want to even get into hand embroidery. Um, they have different kits and different, um, different types of floss. I don't know anything about hand embroidery, or embroidery myself, but again, I just thought I like thumbing through these types of magazines just to really get ideas and different things like that. And so here is where you would have your embroidery essentials. I want to focus on this right here. Now I saw in a group where someone got something very similar to this from Amazon and what they did was roll up their cork fabrics their faux leathers, make sure they rolled them up and just slid them in there as you see that in there. But I want to say this thing, this holder over the door hanger was sold on Amazon maybe for a, a less, but that is an awesome idea. If you are into handbag making um, or anything like that, you can roll, keep your cork rolled up and then you can put them in those slots and hang it across the door in a room. And then of course, here's all your other um, embroidery threads and we're getting towards the end here again more projects this uh, this is the Christmas spirit illuminated project and it just walks you through how to put these projects together which is always nice um, and then you have the uh, the last bit of some of the fabrics and different designs here on the end and which I thought is really nice. I really love the ornament one. That is so, so pretty. That is so pretty. It just puts you in the holiday spirit, quite frankly. And so that's why I thought it would be fun to do this type of video, just to kind of give some ideas on here. And of course, these are more panels and more jelly rolls here. It looks like, or strips, I should say, um, um, on these two pages. So that is basically it. I'm just... Um, showing you some of the different panels. Um, the last page is another nice project. It actually has a kit. It's an entire embroidery kit, um, which I think is so pretty. Isn't this pretty? Adorn your tree with lace. I thought that was so, so pretty. But anyway, that is basically it. I just wanted to kind of kick off, get everybody in the mood perhaps to... Um, Begin thinking about their holiday gift giving guide for or maybe your own wish list and something that you might want. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in today. I greatly appreciate it and stay tuned for tomorrow. Bye.